Greetings, YouTube. Happy start of the month of November. Still trying to get used to seeing Mr. Fantastic with a gross depression beard. I don't think of him as somebody who's like that, but maybe in the comics that is the most accurate. Lord knows I have a lot to learn about comic lore. And often in Marvel Contest of Champions, it seems like if they're amazing in the comics, they're going to suck in this game and vice versa. But speaking of sucking, uh, I have been holding on to this item for quite some time. Ever since variant number three was completed, and you'll notice it's a rank up gem for the rank up of a five star mutant champion released prior to the end of 2016. And so, you know, there's some decent candidates, I guess, Rogue being one of them, but other than say, a chance for Wolverine, I don't know, I just, uh, I just don't know, because honestly, even if I get Wolverine, and even if he's released as a five-star in the next year, which you would think maybe that's the case since he's mentioned in this, is it going to be somebody that I want to put an Awakening Gem into, like I would Namor? Probably not, even though I'm excited to see what his regen could be, but what I am excited about is somebody that I already have awakened. In fact, I took him already to rank three. And he's the champion that, for my own personal preference, is the clear winner of this latest round of betas. And that's Colossus. This guy is really fun to play. And I am a parry-heavy player. And he's a parry-heavy player's best friend. He is somebody that really benefits from just the parry-heavy attack opportunity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to use what I've been saving for quite some time. And that is the rank up gym in the bottom that uh, I thought was a dud when I got it. I was like, mutant, man, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Well, the times they are changing and they are changing in the form of a benefit to Mr. Colossus. I'm also excited to see what his PI is at rank four. We're going to go ahead and do the smart, responsible thing, which is to sell our non-mutant ISO for gold. People always ask me, Prof, how the heck do you have so much gold? Well, it's because I sell all my expiring ISO, and I grind the arena so much that I have a ton of ISO because I open a ton of premium disappointment crystals, and therefore... I have a ton of ISO that just runs over the overflow. That's one of the best tips I can give anybody who needs more gold is just put in the time to the arena, even if it's the three-star featured arena, and that's all you can do because you will be rewarded with a fantastic amount of uh, data. Okay, here we go. Uh, by the way, these PIs are going to look much higher than they actually are because I had a 20% boost expire, and so I used it, I guess it was 35 minutes ago, to do some arena. Always also take advantage of those expiring boosts. I get very annoyed when there's a 20 or especially a 30% greater champion boost that I forget about, and that's even with the inventory caps increasing by three on those boosts, still having it not be enough. All right, well, I'll be curious to see what uh, this guy looks like without the plus 20 percent i mean i'm sure i could do the math but i don't teach math and i'm pretty dang lazy when it comes to calculations so we're going to now go oh let's go to events let's go to special quest and just for the sake of argument let's go to the quest everybody always does where this guy desperately needs a better health care plan and that is realm of legends winter soldier and we're going to take in colossus and Sometimes I like, even though it's not the best, sometimes I like to just go to synergies and see what they look like. So we'll throw in old balls, even though he's technically new balls. We'll throw in jugs. Uh, armor rating, I don't really care about that. don't care about that. Critical rating's nice. Maybe we'll throw in another critical rating. And uh, health? Yeah, I don't know. Why not? Again, this is not a recommendation for what... Uh, Synergies to use when you want to wreck people. I'm just doing it for fun. So yes, there's a plus 20% boost on, and I am running full suicides. I kind of just want to see the raw damage of the parry heavy. 
I might be doing some specials, maybe even a special too. But uh, let's just uh, come on. There we go. I get very annoyed when the AI is extremely passive. And that is so much of map five. All right, so 6,000 so far. Although, you know, letting yourself get hit is pretty dumb. Oh, the special two of Winter Soldier. Okay. Perry, I learned that trick yesterday from one of my subs. Maybe everybody knows it but me. But to parry and then to do uh, the first part of the heavy and then launch to a special. Man, that was awesome. 15,000. That's freaking awesome. Gotta love that. And who knows if my recoil damage is going to be the death of me, along with um, just sucking at face blocking, as Miss Katie Candy would say. Uh, okay. Up 10 right now. Let's just fire off that special, too, see what happens. 9,000. Not that impressive. But 17. Oh, man. Come on. Hit me. Come on. There we go. 18 and 18,000. That's fantastic. That's worth a thumbnail, even if it's just that. Okay, back to 13, 14, up to 17. I do like the unblockable, even though it's very slow. And here we go, 18,000 again. He's gonna be a fun champ to play. And it seems like it's just capping at that 18. He's going to be a fun champ to play. Is it something that like, I'm necessarily going to be excited? I don't know. Who knows? The immunities certainly help. And I always love triple or quadruple or whatever immunity champs. Let's fire off that special two. Get up to 16. Oh, 19 on the special two. That ain't bad. Even though I did take some hits, the recoil is definitely not my best friend on this. Here we go. At 18, not landing a crit on that second part of the heavy, but the 18 is back. All right, let's go up to 23. 22,000. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Why did I just punch the air? Anybody know? Nobody knows. All right, come on. I want to get the stacks up. 21. 20,000. Yeah. I mean, that's just fun, right? There is staying at 20,000. Me getting face blocked again like an idiot. Like, this is a fun fight. This is not my favorite fight. Probably it's Hyperion that I've enjoyed. Let's see if I can. We're in assassin range, right? I also love that it's staying at 16. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Take him down. 1%. Ah, that's some BS. One more. And done. So just special twos. Some pretty average at best, really below average gameplay. Hey, what's up? Got that level three team health potion. That's why you uh, like to run this path, if you will. But there you have it. Good fight? Not at all. But maybe you got to see some rank four damage. And hopefully you enjoyed somewhat of my commentary. Keep in mind, I have a very thick screen protector on my iPhone 6S. I am thinking about going with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. It'll be the first time I get a new iPhone in like four years with uh, some of my end-of-the-year YouTube earnings. But at the same time, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Do you have an iPhone 11 Pro? Should I upgrade? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel. Always happy to use an item I didn't think was good and make it awesome.